Hey guys, it's Justine, and today we're gonna be doing my top favorite pieces of tech that I've covered on my channel in 2020. But before we get into that, a huge thank you to today's video sponsor, Zen. Zen is a really new and interesting form of making and accepting payments online. Now it's great not only for personal use, but for businesses as well. They have found a way to fight the chaos that can come from online shopping and being a store owner. It's a shopping card that connects with the Zen app that allows you to make online and offline payments in over 150 currencies with with zero fees for exchange rates on transactions made in your account's currency. You can get a physical and virtual card, as you can see here. This is my account with my virtual card attached to it. If anything ever doesn't work out with a transaction, like you receive a broken product, or you don't even receive the item at all, Zen will take care of the issue for you. They call this a part of their Zenefits. They also give you an automatic one year extended warranty on any electronics you purchase when you pay with your Zen card. And there's also zero fees when shopping at foreign retailers like AliExpress or Amazon in another country. Now for business owners, it's able to act as a payment platform for e-commerce. So what's really awesome is as soon as someone pays you, the money ends up on your account within seconds and it's ready to use. They also don't take a markup for processing payments and they have a zero chargeback. So if one does happen, Zen will take care of it. I'll put a link in the description if you want to download the Zen app and you can get four months free. But if you're a business owner, you can also get an additional two months free. Check it out and let me know what you guys think. And now for the top 20 pieces of tech that I've covered here on my channel in 2020. This list is not ranked in any order. I went through, made my list, and then I sorted them alphabetically so I didn't have to choose one through 20. But the irony is the number one thing that is on this list alphabetically is the A7S III, which I guess if I had to choose, that would be pretty appropriate. That's the number one piece of tech, and I'm shooting on it right now. This camera has pretty much changed the way that we've shot videos. It's been so incredible, and ever since we got it, well, I got three of them, so that's saying something. <laughs> it has made our lives so much better, right, Tyler? Oh, yeah. Woo! Next on the list alphabetically is Ibo. Do you remember Ibo the dog? The freaking Sony dog? Jenna actually got this in the mail from Sony, and she named it Stella. So we're at lunch right now, and Stella and Mango are meeting. Although I will say they haven't fallen off the table yet. No, I'm actually really impressed. No, when they're going forward, they know because they have two sensors on the chest and then one sensor on the nose. They understand they're on a on a surface. Hi, Mango, you good boy. Not finding anything? Do you have anything for robot dogs? Um. Let's tell a real food you can't have. Look, this is real food. This is what your brother eats. Well, this is brand. It? That was such a fun video. We went and hung out with Farouk and his dog, Mango. <gasps> Mango, such a cute name. Stella and Mango, they had a great time together. And number three on the list, any guesses? You guessed right. It's the AirPods Max. Ear cups off. I'm speechless. Oh, it's such a nice fit. This next piece of tech has saved me so much money in Postmates. This is the Brava oven. This thing has completely, honestly, actually changed my life. Good morning, it's time for breakfast. My favorite part about this is the fact that this oven has a camera inside of it. So what I do a lot of times is I will make my sandwich, I will go up and take a shower really quick and I will keep the live camera open to see how much time I have left so I can keep showering and get down here in just enough time for my sandwich to be done. This thing cooks with infrared light, it's so fast, it's so efficient, and it made someone who doesn't like to cook, cook. Next up is the HP Envy All-in-One, and I absolutely love this. It's basically like an iMac, but it's a PC. This features 32 gigs of RAM, a one terabyte solid state drive, and an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650 graphics card. It has a 10th gen Intel Core i7 2.9 gigahertz processor that redefines what's possible in a thin and light computer. And why I love this so much is I've used it for so many different things. I now use this as my second streaming computer. I use it for our podcast. This was such a fun video to make. And next, the Insta360 ONE X2. What's really cool about this is the selfie stick will be removed in post. So automatically, it'll just kind of look like this thing is floating in midair. Are they already put together? 
Yeah. Okay. Um, so like, if I got this right now, I could ride it like out. You think I'd break it? The mini probably. It's meant for up to five year olds. Fifty kilograms. Oh my. Whatever. That, so like one twenty five. Okay, I'll just get this one. I also got a really cool scooter in that video. So the next the next thing that we have on the list is the iPhone 12. And that's just the iPhone 12. Like, I mean, there's four of them. Can I put four under there? 12, 12 mini, 12 pro, 12 pro max, all four of them. is up next. This is probably one of my favorite videos this year when we turned my entire living room into a Lego Super Mario course. their new M1 chips and then came out with three all new computers. Yup. Next on the list, the M1 Max. Today, we're taking a look at the first new Mac devices with the brand new M1 chip. We have the new MacBook Air, the MacBook Pro 13 inch, and the Mac Mini. M1 is Apple's first chip in their family of chips that are being built in-house that will slowly, over the next two years, replace Intel. This is really a step in an incredible direction for Apple, and I'm very excited to test these out further and really just see what we can push the limits to on all three of these. There's a MacBook Air, MacBook Pro, a Mac Mini. That's scary. Yeah, 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 that, that counts as one. That counts, that counts as one. The iPad Pro Magic Keyboard is next. The Magic Keyboard kind of reinvented the way that I use my iPad. I started editing on my iPad, and since now the whole world was kind of shifting around and changing the way that we work, I started using my iPad so much more than ever before. Remember at the start of quarantine when the first drone came out and I was reviewing the Mavic Air 2 and I was like, well, how am I supposed to do a drone review because I can't leave my house? Well, we did it. And also RIP curtains. I do have some prop guards for it, so just in case I hit the walls or anything. Just in case I hit the walls for anything. I gotta turn obstacle avoidance off so we can fly free! 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 No! 2020 was also the year of new consoles, and alphabetically speaking, the PlayStation 5 is up next, and I've actually been playing the PlayStation 5 a lot. Also this year, my sister and I started a podcast, if you haven't heard of it before, it's called Same Brain, and this piece of tech, for us, 
has changed the way that not only we podcast, but also my entire gaming setup revolves around this. This is the Roadcaster Pro. Extremely exciting. One of my favorite things about podcasting is pushing the buttons on the Roadcaster Pro. And since this is ours now, we can set those up to be whatever we want. We can have our own sounds. So what do you do when you can't go to Starbucks every day like you did before? Oh, that's right. You make coffee at home like you probably should. This is the Spin Coffee Maker, and this is an all new way to make coffee, espresso, all with an app on your phone. This is something that has been in development for many years. It started out as a Kickstarter, and now over five years later, it is finally shipping to customers. And what's exciting about this is they have perfected an all new way of making coffee. Why this is called Spin is because the beans are actually spinning inside of this machine instead of being pressed down. It smells so good. I know. Also, what do you do when you can't go to the gym anymore because all of the gyms are closed? You bring the gym to you. This is the Tempo Studio. It's an all-in-one home gym that takes performance tracking to a whole new level. And it's the only system that gives you instant feedback to improve your form. It uses 3D motion sensors and AI to analyze your movements and count your reps, weight lifted, calories burned, and more. As you progress, it will increase your weight recommendations and customize the programming to help fit your fitness goals. This was such a fun piece of tech that I got this year because I'd never really done much strength training before. But with this, it's a way to kind of give you guided exercises and feedback from the trainers. And alphabetically, the next piece of tech is also something that was quite unexpected for 2020, uh, Tom Green's van. We're uh, getting ready to take off into the wild uh, in, in our new van. Charlie and I just got this new van. Boho, that's the name of their company. They were on Shark Tank. No way! This is a, a Ram Promaster van and they take it and they convert it into a camper. And is this but all custom then? You told them what you wanted? They kind of have been doing this so in a lot of ways I kind of like took, let them take the lead because they know what they're doing but you know we I did make a few adjustments to certain things for my studio and stuff and I'm recording my album, my comedy country Crap. rap album. I call it uh, comedy country rap. It's crap. I'm it's smiling good. but you can't see it. Yeah, yeah. It's under there. It's gonna be fun. Justine, you want to see my 25 gallon water tank? Yeah. Yeah. It's nice, right? Yeah, it's nice. That's it. That's mine. I also got a chance to check out this really cool bike by Specialized. Definitely found myself riding my bike way more this year than ever before because I was spending more time at home and not traveling. So being able to get out and go for a really quick bike ride was something that I'm so grateful for this year. Speaking of grateful, next up, we have the Xbox Series X and Series S. Now, not only did I get both of those consoles this year, I also got an Xbox refrigerator and they, they only made three of these. I'm gonna put my controller in the, in there. It's something we did. The next to the last thing on the list is the Samsung Z Flip. This has been such a cool phone. Yes, I know the Z Fold also came out this year, but there is something about that Z Flip that is just so satisfying to flip open. And last but not least is the Sony ZV-1, and this little vlogging camera is something that we have all been waiting for for a very long time. It has the flip out screen, it has incredible audio, small, compact, it is everything that we have wanted in a small, portable, compact Sony vlogging camera. This is the Sony ZV-1. Comes with a microphone windscreen, micro USB cable, battery, and the camera. And a flip out screen. 
making a checklist for the things that I have been looking for in a vlogging camera, and this camera right here checks almost every single one of those boxes. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and also supporting my channel this entire year. I know this year has been so crazy for everyone, but I'm so grateful that I've been able to still make videos for you guys and keep you guys entertained. It's also been really fun doing live streams. I did start doing that this year, and thank you also for supporting our podcast. It's kind of been fun to sort of get into these new things that I never would have had the chance to have done before. So hopefully you guys at home have also found some new hobbies or something to keep yourself occupied and entertained during this wild year. I can't believe that 2020 is almost over. <laughs> Let's cross our fingers and hope that 2021 is much better. And I will see you guys in the next video, which will probably be tomorrow or the next day. You can't ever be really too sure here on my inconsistent channel. <laughs>